September 10th at the Forum. And if you go to the Bay Area next weekend, Andre Ward is on the card. He is headlining HBO against Alexander Brand, a 39-year-old Colombian with only one loss. Yes, and if he should get past Alexander Brand, which I think he will, then the stage is set. I believe that the promotional wheels are already turning November 19th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. You will see the showdown, perhaps the best pure prize fight on the boxing calendar today, Sergey Kovalev against Andre Ward on HBO pay-per-view. Uh, HBO pay-per-view, those calendar is loaded. And also, let's not forget, September 17th in Dallas, Texas, the house that Jerry built will be Canelo Alvarez. So our second fight of the night coming into the ring right now from Phoenix, Arizona, Julio Rovas, El Salvadorian roots, but he grew up in Phoenix. He's 0-2, 26 years old. A fighter that, Steve, another guy we could mention, the Benavides fighting clan. Mm. Rodas was with the Benavides clan as an amateur. Knows each other very, very well. And speaking of Benavides, he picked up a victory last week against Chia Santana on the Crawford Postal Undercard. Very solid 10-round victory. And making his way now to the ring. Bumping Ramon Ayala, un rinconcito en el cielo. 18-year-old Virgil Ortiz, that is not a misprint, that is how <laughs> his father's name was spelled. His grandmother said, I wanted a different spelling, used the V for Virgil. He is a junior, 18 years old from Dallas, Texas, uh, managed and trained by Joel Diaz. And Virgil Ortiz, very familiar with this area of Coachella, because in the building where we're at, they have the thing called for the amateurs, the Desert Showdown. He said, you walk in there, if you walk out of there as a winner, you're one of the best of the best in the country as an amateur. He's very familiar with this building. Second fight of the night after this, Nick Arce, and then it'll be Roy Tapia. Our ring announcer for tonight, the one and only well, Joe well, Martinez. Go with the next bout tonight. Four rounds, this in the super lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue, trimmed in white. He weighed it officially 139 pounds. He enters the ring tonight for the third time as a professional. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, here is Julio Roda. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, trimmed in silver, he weighed in also 139 pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut and joins us from Dallas, Texas. Here is Virgil Ortiz. And your referee in charge of the action is Eddie Hernandez. Gentlemen, I've been over the rules with you both. You know what I expect. Touch clubs, good luck. Eddie Hernandez, our referee for tonight. Four rounds in the super lightweight Mark, division. The tell of the tape, Steve. And we take a look at some of the numbers and the way they match up. We're going with Virgil Ortiz and Julio Rodas. And the big number you see there is age 18 as Ortiz makes his professional debut. Ready? You ready? Fox. There you see, making a professional debut in the black trunks. Virgil Ortiz, Julio Rodas in the blue, and they come up <laughs> slugging right away. Uh, as the old timers would say, it looks like both guys are double parked here. Oh, oh right oh. hand drops Rodas. Oh, huge right hand from the 18 year old Virgil Ortiz early on in his pro hey, debut. Oh. You okay? You want to continue? Yeah, yeah. They're coming into slug, and it's scheduled for four, it's a big word. Virgil Ortiz, with his grandma at home in Dallas watching. He's wearing the black. Ortiz was a cross country runner in high school. Knows he has the stamina and the distance, but he's looking to end this in a quick 100 yard sprint. Wrote us two fights under his belt in 2011, 2012. At the age of 20, after that, he decided to take a break. Now he's back here, boxing. And we want to note that although Rodas is 0 and 2, both those losses did go the four round distance. You just look at Ortiz early on. Physically, he has that long, tall, lean, puncher's physique, Beto. 
Oh, no big punch from Ortiz. <laughs> and he's got a big right hand by if you haven't noticed. Virgil Ortiz, a lot of talk of him in the amateur world. 180 fights, different people wanted to sign up, ultimately went with Golden Boy and Joel Diaz. Stiff jab from Ortiz. Rodas is swinging wildly, still stunned from the big knockdown in the first. Oh, a body shot, and it is it. It's over. Eddie Hernandez has stepped in and protected the fighter, Rodas. Virgil Ortiz in his professional debut, the 18 year old. The Grand Prairie Gopher alum. A okay, first round stoppage. Well, Beto, you can see why Julio Diaz, excuse me, Joel Diaz is so excited by his young stable of fighters. We saw Cesar Diaz earlier, and you see Ortiz picking up his first victory. He likes these young guys. He thinks he has a roster of future world champions. And just early on, I don't know what we could really tell by what we saw in about two minutes. But Virgil Ortiz has that angular frame, which a lot of punchers have, and we saw this early on, literally within seconds, Beto, he packs a very, very strong right hand. Francis Ortiz and the rest of the clan in Dallas watching. There he is. He's coming home 1-0. and There you see his dad wearing that Mavericks cap. Took him to the gym at the age of five, and his son has never looked back in the boxing world. And this is literally oh. seconds into the fight as they were exchanging early. And Virgil Ortiz has that tall physique, but he's able to keep a pretty good compact, tight radius with his punches. And you see him shortening that right hand through the elbow. And at that point, uh, for all intents and purposes, the competitive stage of this fight ended very, very early. And Virgil Ortiz, just 18, 19 years old, making a successful professional debut and you take a look at some of the power punches Beto and I've said this before punchers are born they are not made I was talking with Joel Diaz Jr. the son of Joel Diaz who was telling me about the camp when you come into Joel Diaz's camp they bring you more as a family Virgil Ortiz senior and junior both said that the Diaz brothers Joel and his brother Tonio have made them feel at home Virgil's even thinking yeah. of moving from Dallas maybe going to Coachella and he wants to be a PE teacher and cross-country coach. <laughs> 18 years old. Rodas came to scrap, paid the price. The official time, one minute, 37 seconds. Round number one, referee Eddie Hernandez puts a halt to the bout. Your winner by KO victory in his professional debut, Virgil Ortiz! Congratulations, pro debut, Virgil You see Julio, Julio Rodas on your screen, came to fight. Paid the consequences, first round stoppage. Well, and I think that's the problem. Uh, I think discretion may have been the better part of valor for Mr. Rodas on this night. Ran into a buzzsaw in Ortiz, a tall puncher. It seems to have that natural ability to turn over a right hand. It's going to be very interesting to see where he develops. And you talk about the family atmosphere of the Diaz's. I asked Joel, where did you meet this young man? He said it was actually his brother, Tono Diaz, former junior welterweight contender. About a year or two ago at an amateur tournament in Texas, he actually saw him with a string of knockout victories. And at that point, a bidding war took place between some of the familiar faces in boxing. And Joel Diaz is now turning over his business a little bit, becoming more of a manager. And he says that he would like to get into developing fighters. And he seems to have a very bright foundation with young men like Diaz and Ortiz. Sal Sanchez watching in the 818. Thank you. He's also a young fighter, the younger brother of Emilio Sanchez. 1-0, he's a pro, not an amateur anymore. And also to Chris Borgioni watching in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Yes, if you're in Colorado, your voice does get deeper. That was the second fight of the <laughs> night. Virgil Ortiz, Cesar Diaz with KOs early on. Nick Arce coming up, and then Roy Tapia. Yes, and of course, our, our security blanket from Philadelphia, Linus SQ, uh, always chiming in. What an intro to the pros for Virgil Ortiz Jr. Props to Rodas for getting up. Here, here. Yeah, he came in, and you got to know this. When you come in with a guy who had a bidding war over him yeah. at the age of 18, here you see him. Right, and you see that right hand. That right hand took place about 15 seconds into the fight after a pretty heavy exchange, but you see the accuracy and the skill level. And the one thing about Ortiz, we'll see what he does if a guy extends him a little bit. We're gonna have, I get the sense, Beto, 
we're going to see him on the same type of fight plan uh, as Cesar Diaz. If we see him twice in a month, two, three times over a six-week period, that's probably the way they're going to develop him. They're young, but I get the sense, based on their 